Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to integrate AdMob ads in with your iPad applications. So, right now I'm currently on AdMob.com and all I've done is go to Sites and Apps and Add Site and App. So, we're wanting to make an iPad application so I'll go ahead and click that and this will come down so I'm just going to name it test for this demonstration um, let's do business I'm just gonna put this as a test for the description and this part is where you can change the color of your ad um, let's just go with blue is okay so let's just hit continue and here it's going to tell you to go ahead and download this um, iPad SDK now I've already done this so y'all just click this and it will download and it should appear in your downloads folder and then you can just drag that wherever you want um, I already did it so I'm gonna go ahead to Xcode and I'm gonna create a new app and we're just gonna do uh, let's just do a tab bar app for the iPad hit choose I'm gonna type test and my new Xcode project will open I'm going to make this simulator okay now the first thing I'm going to do is go to resources and just double click first view now interface builder will open up and this is the screen you always get when you make a new tab bar application so we haven't done anything so far um, now what you want is you want an ad and they have many different sizes of the ads but that's what you're you're trying to get so I'm going to go where I downloaded my SDK. It's right here. And I'm going to place these three folders, AdMob, IB Support, and TouchJSON, inside of my test app. So I'm just going to click these and drag these right on top of classes and I'm going to copy them okay so now we have our AdMob integrated with the app but there's a little bit more you have to do I'm going to open the readme file and this basically tells you the ad sizes right here it tells you what you can do with the popovers it tells you basically how to integrate them in with your app and the frameworks you need. So I'll start off with frameworks. I'll go ahead and resize this so I can see both pages at the same time. Like so. I'll open up frameworks, right click, and hit reveal in Finder. And now this will show me where all my frameworks are. I'm just going to remove these other Finder pages. okay and I'm going to place the frameworks that are in the list into my app make sure you do not copy these ones you just want to hit add make sure that box is not checked so audio toolbox now we need core graphics media player message UI and quartz core okay now go to targets click your application name and click info go to the general tab and where it says message UI framework you're going to want to go over to required and make it weak. Okay. 
So exit out of that. I'm going to resize this to make it big once again. And I'm going to save everything. Okay, now go to first view, like you did. And I'm going to add a view, a UI view, onto the screen. I'm going to make it black so I can see it. Okay, and now I'm going to go and look at what sizes are available. So I'm going to hit preview, come back up here, and these are the ad sizes that are available. And because I want a long banner on the bottom, I'm going with 748 by 11, or 110. Okay. So go to Interface Builder on the third tab, and where it's width, 748. and height 110 okay I'm just going to center this by going to layout alignment align horizontal and that way I know it's horizontal no matter where it is on the page okay so in IB go to your object and drag that in with object selected go to the fourth tab and type add and then just go down and click add view controller and hit enter and this will now be your add view controller and now right click and drag from add view controller to your actual view and just so you know it's this view I'm going to write in a little label saying this is a test and put that right there now because we're doing a tab bar application, it's good to know that we have a tab bar on the bottom so we better simulate that so the ad isn't hidden behind a tab bar or anything like that. So see how it was. I'm just going to bring that up a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now, simulator, debug, just checking, making sure everything's right. I'm going to build that. And simulator will open up. And now, this is a test will appear. And this ad, once configured, will start to work. Let me just go ahead and build and debug. Sometimes the simulator is tripped off by the add view controller, so it will want to return a request and then sometimes won't be able to. If you're debugging on the actual device, the ad will appear every time. Um, but there are some cases where it won't want to appear just because you're using the simulator. So let me just make sure that's saved. Make sure this is the view. Just making sure everything's as good as it can be. Let me just check main view real quick. Okay. Let me just check release, see if that will trick the simulator. No. Okay. It's getting tripped up by the AdMob SDK. Um, let me just go back one more time. This shouldn't do anything just by connecting current view controller to files owner, and it's not required.
but it may trick the simulator. No. See, so we're just getting bad access from the actual, um, uh, because that banner's in there for the ad. But anyway, this is how you would do it. And trust me, this will work on your device. Um, it's just the simulator, it can't get the signal through. But um, this has been how to integrate ads, AdMob ads, into your iPad application. If you like my videos, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.